Good afternoon. I'm Deputy County Executive Ken Jenkins, and this is our Westchester County Weekly Update. County Executive Latimer is out of the county this afternoon. Um, we're going to have an opportunity to talk with one of our wonderful village and municipal officials. This afternoon, we'll have Village of Largemont Mayor Sarah Bauer that will be with us momentarily. We're also going to talk some more about Launch 1000, the fantastic program that, that's been done by Deb Novak and all of our, our team here. And then we're also going to hear about the community needs assessment and get an update from Kim Holland from our Westchester County Planning Department. But let's start today um, with the village of Larchmont Mayor Sarah Bauer. Um, the village of Larchmont has 6,500 people. Um, Mayor Bauer was elected first in 2018 as a trustee and then um, as mayor in 2022. And certainly um, she will be on the ballot this year in 2024. Um, there's 6,500 people in the village of Larchmont. There's so many tremendous opportunities that are going on. It is one of the wonderful villages that we have in Westchester County, and it is a privilege to introduce her and have her come up and give us a few words about Lodgemont. Thank Bell. you so much, and thank you for having me of today. Course. Uh, so we actually have quite a lot going on in Larchmont right now. One of the biggest things is that we have finally launched our new website, which is incredibly exciting because it's finally functional. You can uh, find a lot more things on our website than you could before. It's much more user-friendly. It's much more modern. It's our digital gateway to the village for residents and our visitors. And I just wanted to say a huge thank you to Assistant Administrator Elon Katzine for putting that together. It was a tremendous amount of work, um, and we're thrilled that it's finally finally live. So please take a look and check it out. It's uh, larchmontny.gov. Um, we also are continuing all of our work in our parks. We um, are completing the renovations in Willow Park with a, uh, an up uh, this spring with the new basketball court, updates to the playground, and some other new amenities. Um, so please be sure to visit us there. And our very um, long ongoing renovation of Flynn Park is entering the home stretch. We expect to be done with the playground this spring. We also expect to be done with the tennis house, which now has a functioning cafe. Cafe, and we will be putting out a request for proposals um, this week for anyone interested in running the cafe. Um, so please be sure to check out our website for the RFP um, if you are interested. Um, in addition, I want to say a huge thank you to the county for their support in helping us get this project done. We uh, hope to be breaking ground on um, replacing the turf field at Alma this summer. So hopefully by the end of the year, we should be totally done with all of all of the work that we're doing in that park as well. Um, one of the other major undertakings that has been um, ongoing is we have started our commercial area plan update to our comprehensive plan for our downtown area. Um, if you've been to Larchmont, you know that we have two distinct downtowns. Um, and at this point, our, our zoning has not been updated since the 1960s. So we want to take a comprehensive look at our downtown, at our zoning, um, and see what, what can be done to really help us modernize um, our downtowns, modernize our business district, and the way that people use it. So that is getting underway now. Um, and we will be soliciting a lot of public feedback. So if you're interested in participating, again, please check out our website and go to the page for the comprehensive um, commercial area plan update and uh, check out the ways that you can participate in that. Um, I'm also very excited to announce that we have submitted our uh, Climate Smart uh, Community Certification application for bronze, and we hope to receive that certification in the coming months. Our Environmental Committee has done a tremendous job putting that together for the village, so hopefully we will be receiving that soon. Um, and lastly, I just wanted to mention that we are continuing with um, our upgrading our beloved 100-year-old village hall. Um, it's it's definitely a process modernizing the building. Um, we are looking at uh, upgrading the HVAC system next, uh, which has been made possible by a SAM grant that we received with the generous support of uh, Senator Shelley Mayer. So thank you to her as well. Um, and thank you again for having me today. Mayor. 
Thank you so much. All right. Um, that it was our mayor, mayor from Larchmont, Mayor Sarah Bauer. Um, we wanted to thank her again because when um, County Executive Latimer and myself did come to present to the board, I could believe that was the first night on the re renovated and updated website that looked awesome. There's so many great things happening and the partnership with Flint Park. I was privileged enough to um, open that soccer field with then legislator Judy Myers uh, as I was the chair of Public Works, Parks, Labor and Transportation for the County Board of Legislators. And it is something that needs to be done to be updated. And that park, Flint Park, is another tremendous asset for the people of Larchmont in the village, but also for everyone in Westchester County. And we look forward to seeing those great things go on. Thanks so much, Mayor. We really appreciate you. Um, up next, we're going to have um, Deborah Novick, um, our Director of Entrepreneurship and in Innovation, to come up and talk about a program that started during the pandemic. And it was a program that was created, um, that, that she created with a great team of, of folks in economic development led by Bridget Gibbons, our, our Director of Economic Development. Um, it, to be able to get people into a new space based on the things that were happening during the pandemic We'll let her come up and tell some more about it now that applications are going to be open. So with that, we'll ask Deborah Novick to come up with us. A lot of times we just say Deb, but you know, it's Deborah or Deborah, depending on how you do. Deb, come on in. All right. Thank you so much for coming this afternoon. Thank you, Ken. And of course, thank you to our County Executive, George Latimer, as well, for the opportunity to speak about Launch 1000 and for your ongoing support for this fantastic program and for entrepreneurship here in Westchester. I'm so happy to announce that we will be offering Launch 1000 again this year. We've all heard statistics that close to 80% of new businesses fail within the first five years. And one of the reasons for that is a lack of understanding on the part of the founders of these new businesses of whether what they're bringing to market will actually find a home, whether there's a business need for what they're creating. Uh, but this program, Launch 1000, equips aspiring business owners with the training and the tools that they need to thrive. And I'm inspired every day by the people I meet who are really presenting new solutions to problems they identify in the world around them. There are niches everywhere. Some of these business ideas, they're fantastic, but they're things I know nothing about. And it's very exciting to see the passion that these entrepreneurs are bringing to their ideas. Uh, Launch 1000 helps our launchers ensure that the solution that they are crafting will actually be welcomed by the market. So this will be the fourth year that we're offering Launch 1000. As Ken mentioned, we launched this program originally at the beginning of COVID when so many people were losing their jobs and or needing to work from home and take care of their children or do homeschooling, whatever. And so many people needed a new way to work. Uh, but these challenges are ongoing. People want to start businesses no matter what the economic climate is, and it really adds a lot of resilience to our economy. We're very proud of the results of the first three years of our program. To date, more than 460 Westchester residents have completed Launch 1000, and most have launched new ventures. Some of these ventures have grown substantially to generating revenues of 100,000, 200,000, even $1 million. I can think of one in particular that's grown to that level. Uh, Camoyne Associates, which is an independent economic impact consulting firm, has analyzed Launch 1000 each year for us, and they have reported to us that our investment in the program has produced dramatic results. Aggregate revenues of close to $80 million by the ventures created, overall payroll of more than $28 million, and more than 625 jobs created. Overall, this program, Launch 1000, has returned more than $10 in value to the Westchester economy for every dollar that we've invested here at the county. And we're very equally proud of the diversity of our launchers. They hail from every zip code in our county. They have every level of education from less than high school to PhD. They range in age from 20 to 77. Uh, where are you, 80-year-olds? I know you're out there. They have... Um, 40, last year, 44% identified as black or African American, 23% identified as Hispanic or Latino, and this is a significant increase from 2022 when we had 17% Latino participation. And we also had excellent representation from veterans, the LGBTQ community, launchers who are neurodiverse and differently abled. So why am I telling you all this? Applications will open on Monday, March 18th. 
The sign-up list is open now, and I encourage everyone who would like to participate to join that list today. The link can be found at start.howtostartsomething.com slash launch1000. There's also a URL, I think, running across the screen, uh, which is um, on our Westchester Catalyst website, where you can find lots of information about Launch 1000. Uh, as always, a computer and stable Wi-Fi are required for this program, and we have loaner laptops, Wi-Fi hotspots, technology training, and social service support available to anyone who needs it to succeed in the program, and more information about that is available if you give me a call at 914-995-2998. The program itself will begin on April 16th and run through September. The best place to find information is on our economic development website, westchestercatalyst.com slash launch1000. You should also follow our office and our partner, Entrepreneur Ready, on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Instagram to be kept up to date on the program. You will also see in social media inspiring stories and testimonials from our launchers. And last, I'd like to request that you help us spread the word so that every single Westchester resident knows about this free program. We need your help with outreach, and I invite any organization, business, chamber of commerce, professional association, co-working space, social services agency, retirement group, library, landlord, financial advisor, guidance counselor, anyone out there who can help us spread the word, also launch 1000 alumni, I'm counting on you. Uh, and you should contact me for details, flyers, posters, or whatever else would be helpful to get the word out. I'm available to speak in person or virtually at events to anyone who would like that. And you can contact me directly. Again, my phone number is 914-995-2998. Thank you. Thanks so much, Deb. And, and, and again, uh, this is a great opportunity that was created by the, under the leadership of County Executive George Latimer, and then with all of the economic development leadership, Deb Novick brings a ton of, of economic development, and we were so glad when she joined our team um, to be able to come up with these great innovative programs, and whether it's Element 46 or whether it is Launch 1000. And the, the point of 460 Westchester residents going in and getting engaged in this free program um, to be able to, to get up to $80 million of impact for Westchester County, including 625 people that have own, um, jobs because of that Launch 1000 opportunity. It's a great thing to do. A lot of people talk about saying what things they can do, but, but under County Executive Latimer's leadership, and then with Deb Novick, Bridget Gibbons, and our entire team to try to make sure we're making a difference, helping to get to that $250 million worth of investment that's happened from Westchester County, from, from our own contracts, to get folks prepared to do that. But again, a free, outstanding program. Make sure that you get spreading the word and letting everyone know that this opportunity is there for participation. And again, starting from people that were doing moms and pops um, kind of activities during the pandemic to create new and innovative programs that are helping to impact around up to a million dollars. That is so amazing. And congratulations and keep up the outstanding work for Launch 1000. All right, switching gears, we're going to continue on with the work that we have going on here in Westchester County. Um, and joining us today from the Westchester County Planning Department is Kim Holland, our program administrator, to discuss the county's community needs assessment. And the, uh, the county's, public, you know, county's planning department is asking for the public's help in crafting this consolidated plan, which is a five-year plan to assess affordable housing needs and development goals here in Westchester's communities. So with that, let me turn over to Kim Holland, and thank you, thank you for being here. Thank you. Every five years, Westchester County develops a consolidated plan that identifies strategies to address housing and community development needs. The county will use this plan to make informed decisions on how to award annual federal funding from HUD with Community Development Block Grant, Home, and Emergency Solutions Grant program funding. The planning department is working with Civitas LLC, a community development firm, to develop the 2024 to 2028 consolidated plan. The process for developing the consolidated plan serves as the framework for a community-wide dialogue. And since this plan impacts the 31 municipalities, which are part of the Urban County Consortium, we look for 
residents, and stakeholders' feedback. And there are different ways uh, and opportunities for members, stakeholders, and residents to participate. And your voice is very important. Um, they will help us decide how and where to spend these federally allocated funds. Uh, you can complete a survey as a stakeholder, um, nonprofit organizations, business owners, public housing authorities, uh, community residents can, can complete a survey, or you can attend a meeting at uh, the Pasilipo Senior Center in Rybrook on March 19th from 3 to 4 p.m. is for stakeholders, and there's a second session from 5 to 6.30 for residents. And again, we look for your feedback so we can develop this plan so that we can spend the money effectively uh, throughout the county. Thank you, Thank you Kim. Um, and, and again, to, to echo the great work uh, that, that's happening in the, the Planning Department, Commissioner Blanco Lopez down there, um, with all of the Planning Department and having rebuilt the Planning Department from 2018 when um, the Latin administration first started with Joe McDonald, Emily Saltzman, and all of our team um, to do that with the Planning Department and the great professionals down there. They're looking for your help right now to make sure that we are um, taking everyone's um, thoughts into consideration as we're developing this five-year plan to assess various things as far as affordable housing and development goals in Westchester County. There's other pieces to that puzzle, um, but the reality is this is your opportunity as a Westchester resident to make sure your voice is heard and to make sure that we continue the success that we've had in Westchester County um, as far as a consolidated plan working with HUD and making sure that the dollars that are um, allocated to the CDBG Community Development Block Grant program, the home programs, and um, emergency shelter grant ESG programs are spent as effectively as possible. And again, that cannot happen without the true professionals uh, like Kim Holland and the team making sure that happens with the partner agencies that we have working out there with us. But your voice is the most important voice in this. So we thank the planning department and Kim Holland for being here with us today to remind people that they should get involved and get engaged. Don't sit on the sideline, get involved. So. Thanks again, Kim. All right, um, well, another area from our planning department um, is the transportation component of that in the planning for transportation is going on. So new service changes are happening next Monday on the 18th. Um, so there's not just applications being open on the 18th for Launch 1000, there's B-line service changes um, that County Executive George Ladman announced that will take place on March 18, 2024 in order to improve our operating efficiencies and accommodate the needs of additional riders, the schedule changes are going to occur on the 18th. You should go onto the website, which is scrolling at the bottom, which I guess we have transportation.westchestergov.com, and certainly you have other opportunities to check in the B-Line itself. Uh, I know an app is coming soon. Um, those routes are routes 3, 7, 8, 13, 20, 21, 30, 42 and 66. So let's do it again really quick for folks on routes 3, 7, 8, 13, 20, 21, 30, 42, and 66 for the specific changes that are happening in your area. And once again, that's March 18th, right after St. Patrick's Day on Sunday. On the 18th, I have that opportunity to be able to look at those changes and see how um, you can make sure to take advantage of those changes for your transportation needs. Um, and because I did mention St. Patrick's Day on the 17th, Westchester County's Irish Her um, Heritage and History event is tonight, um, tonight, um, March 11th at 6 p.m. It'll start, of course, with our flag raising outside as we celebrate Irish Heritage Month. Um, so that'll be outside of the McKellian office building here in White Plains. Um, and that was always followed by a reception because we can't have any fun with a flag raising without a bit of food to go along with it. Um, that's tonight. And you can watch that live here on Facebook. Um, or you know the county government Facebook page, or you could have RSVP. You still have an opportunity to do um, by RSVPing again uh, to communications at WestchesterCountyNY.gov. Um, but you should have done that already. But if you did not do that, it's never too late to let folks know that you're going to come by and visit. Um, and again, that's going to be a great opportunity for us this evening um, to do and celebrate our Irish heritage starting at 6 p.m. 
Um, at the county center, we have our wonderful parks, recreation, and conservation programs, PRC programs that are going on. I know that everyone has signed up for that, that weekly e-blast that comes from the parks department. Um, you can see that at parks.westchestergov.com um, that you'll be able to sign up and see the events that are happening. Um, but we also have coming up, um, we have coming up at the, the county center, some some really great events that are happening, which are Westchester Spring Expo, which is gonna happen on the 16th um, of March. That'll be from 11 to 5 p.m. at the county center. Um, and you'll be able to buy general admission tickets for that, and that's always a great show to have happening. I know that we're all looking around and saying we can't believe that it's springtime already, but that's what we have going on with our Westchester Spring Home Expo. and. We also have taking out the trash on Saturday at the Marshlands Conserva Conservatory in Rye, um, where you'll be able to, from 11 to 12.30 p.m. on the 16th, March 16th, Saturday, March 16th, to help keep our beautiful swap march um, by collecting trash around that's been left by riders and walkers, et cetera, but it's a great way to have fun, get some exercise, and give something back to the earth and our community. That's a good opportunity on the 16th. Um, this Thursday, of course, we're going to continue to have our read or an art exhibit there at the Reed Sanctuary. That's also in Rye. So we're going to have an opportunity to see people's talents and love for wildlife through their artwork. And that's from the 14th through the 23rd. And that's from 1 to 4 on the 14th. But it goes right through the 23rd to see some of your Westchester colleagues and community members' artwork at the um, Reed Sanctuary in Rye, another one of your award-winning park system opportunities. And finally, we have two things that are happening up in Lasden Park and Arboretum up in Katona. Uh, that's at Friday. If you have an opportunity with, for some young folks, ages two to five, you're gonna have preschool art and story time, and you'll be able to get some more details at lasdenpark.org, and the line's going across the bottom of the screen, but that's two to 3 p.m. at Lasden Park and Arboretum. And finally, um, in Yonkers, on the Saturday, we're going to have from 12 to 2 the opportunity for Maple Saturday. Um, for, for those folks that ever wonder about how maple syrup is made from maple trees, well, join for us for demonstrations, tastings, and an optional $5 pancake lunch. I'm telling you, I've been to that pancake lunch. It is really good with that fresh syrup that you have an opportunity to get. So again, that's on Saturday um, from 12 to 2. And for five bucks, who can't deal with having a breakfast for fun, a pancake breakfast to you know, to help support the cause? Again, that's at Lasden Park down in Yonkers. So that's all the great things happening in our county parks. And to wrap things up this week, we wanted to make sure to remind people that coming this Thursday um, for the Westchester County Executive George Latimer's seventh annual State of the County Address, it'll be a great address that'll start at 6 p.m. on the 14th, so Thursday, March 14th at 6 p.m. Um, here it's going to be at the McKellian Office Building in the Board of Legislators Chambers because it is a speech and delivery of the State of the County to the legislature, and it's been back since 2018 under County Executive George Latimer's leadership there. And you could watch that here on Facebook Live, um, starting at 6 p.m., the State of the County, um, the seventh annual Westchester County State of the County from Westchester County Executive George Latimer. And with that, um, we'll see if there's questions out there. It doesn't look that that it be the case. Um, we are looking forward to seeing you, whether up in Larchmont, in the village of Larchmont, whether it's at one of the lovely shops and restaurants or running around in Flint Park or just being around in the village. It's a fantastic village, and we were glad that Sarah, Mayor Sarah Bauer was here with us this afternoon. For those folks with Launch 1000, again, that start those applications start next week on Monday the 18th, but you can sign up right now now and we're encouraging everyone to do so um, to take advantage of that particular opportunity with a free program that has so much support for, for many entrepreneurs to get their business plans together to be able to get their their things moving forward and again you can get to see those opportunities by signing up at launch 1000 and finally um, not today for, for our our Irish Heritage Month flag raising, that's gonna happen at 6 p.m., but we'll see everybody back here in the county for the State of the County Exec 
of the state of the county addressed by County Executive George Latimer at 6 p.m. on Thursday. You can always watch on Facebook. With that, I'm Westchester Deputy County Executive Ken Jenkins. Thank you so much for watching, and everyone have a wonderful day.